All right, guys. So there's actually two things that I want to do in this video. The first thing is I want to refactor this a little bit because I realized that we hard coded a lot. Uh, so let's let's make things a little bit more dynamic for the server. Um, we don't need to do anything for the get all uh, to do's call, but we do need to or we do need to look at the get one specific uh, to do. So in our git call, we do the forward slash deduce, and then we have forward slash colon ID, which gives us access to this as rec.params.id. So when we say from todos, where ID equals rec.params.id, so we can, we can pass that in there without having to do anything crazy. For our posts, what we can do is we can say app.post, and then have uh, connects.todos.insert, but instead of hard coding this in here, We'll probably have some sort of rec.body that we're going to pass in, and then uh, we can pass the, the title and the user ID in that way. Um, but now, so let's talk about how to update something. Um, there's the raw way to do it, which is fine, and we'll go ahead and take a quick look at that. Um, but you'll notice that the, that the update version for uh, connects is incredibly simple comparatively. Um, so let's do the connects raw really quick. We'll do connects dot raw update to do's set space and then we're, concat we're gonna concatenate rec dot body dot field plus and then equals question mark where ID equals another question mark and then after this I'll go through it and explain it in a second but the second thing we're going to pass in is rec.body.value and rec.params.id so going over this briefly we have update to do set so then we pull in the field so we're telling it what field that we want to change and then we have to say uh, where ID equals something and so then we have rec.body.field equals the first question mark. So rec.body.field equals rec.body.value, where id equals rec.params.id. I don't know about you, but this just this is a lot of concatenation, and it just feels like this could be a lot cleaner. And luckily for us, we can make it a lot cleaner. What we can do is we can shorten it up by saying connects in the table to dos. We so dot where ID equals uh, rec.params.id dot, rec dot, dot update and then an object and we can put in here I will drop that and actually let's clean this up marginally yeah that'll work for all intents and purposes okay so we have update and then we when we update something, we're probably updating it for the completed, but maybe we want to update the title. So we'll say title equals rec.body.title, and then we'll say completed uh, is rec.body.title, or rec.body.completed. Completed, okay, all right. Um, and then after that, we can do a dot then and have our function that we're going to pass in and put in this little thing right here. There's probably a way to clean that up too, but for all, uh, we'll take a look at it in a little bit. So here uh, we have update dot then. Okay, so that should work. Let's just review make sure we have this right so title complete okay it's probably not going to change the user id is probably not going to change so that's not something i'm going to want to pass in but we'll see what happens here okay so we're all saved uh let's go ahead and go to postman and do put we'll change to do six and we'll say title some random to do and then we'll change the completed to true so let's pass this in see what happens and it looks like we did it so let's pull up this little thing um, we said to do six where's our to do six here's our to do six cool 
So we changed it from title, some random to do, and then completed uh, true. Awesome. So that's really it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to show you how to delete slash remove something. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks so much.